Hello students, today it would be the last video based on unit number 2 AC circuits because up till now we have covered each and every topics which are based on unit number 2 AC circuits. So after onwards we are going to study new unit which is unit number 3 which is transformer. So today in this video we are going to calculate one last and important numerical which is based on 2 watt meter method. So I hope you are ready with your pen and paper. So without wasting much time, let us start this video. Okay. So over here one numerical is written. So first of all, we will read the numerical and then we will collect the data. So first line is what that uh, 2 watt meters. So in the previous video, we have discussed about uh, power measurement of uh, uh, three phase system by using 2 watt meters. And in that we have derived one important equation which is tan phi is equals to root 3 w1 minus w2 divided by w1 plus w2 if you have remembered. Okay. Now next is R connected to measure three phase power for the star connected. And also for the star connection we have derived the power equation which was P is equals to root 3 VL. I L line current and voltage current uh, sorry line uh, current and uh, line voltage into cos phi that equation also we have derived okay also in the star connection we have derived that all the line currents are equals to phase current also we have derived one equation all the line voltages are equals to root 3 times of phase voltages okay next is what 10.37 watt and 5.185 watt that is the reading which is given by both of the watt meters so first watt meter is given w1 reading which is 30 10.37 watt and second watt meter giving the another reading which is 5.185 watt okay next is the line current is 10 ampere that means a line current is given which is equals to phase current which is how much 10 ampere then calculate line and phase voltages that means VL line voltage and VPH phase voltage you have to calculate. Then uh, next is what impedance and resistance. So you have to calculate impedance Z and resistance R and you know very well the relationship between Z and R from the power factor. So power factor cos phi is equal to what R by Z that also we have derived. That means you have to calculate this four answers. So first we will use the same equation that tan phi is equals to root 3 of w1 minus w2 divided by w1 plus w2. Okay. So which is equals to uh, root 3 then w1 is how much that is 10.37 minus w2 is 5.185 divided by w1 plus w2. If we we'll solve this term, so that you will get the answer of 10 phi as 0 0.5735 and if you will get the answer of phi, 10 inverse of 0 0.5735. So that answer would be around 30. So we have the value of phi. Now we can easily find out the value of power factor. So power factor is equals to what? Cos phi. So we can find cos phi value cos phi is how much 30 degree or 30 so power factor cos 30 degree is how much it is root 3 by 2 so around 0 0.8660 that is the answer of what cos phi power factor now we have the power factor so we can find out the power equation of power is this so p is equals to root 3 uh, line voltage or uh, line current then cos phi Okay, now power of the system is how much? 2 watt meters are there. So power of the system if you want to calculate. So total power is equal to what? Reading by first watt meter plus reading by second watt meter. Algebraic sum we will do. So that will be uh, W1 is 10.37 plus W2 is 5.185. So power will be what? Around 15.55 watt. So same power answer you will insert over here. 15. Triple five 
is equals to root 3 into VL means line voltage that we have to calculate. So, put it as it is into VIL is the line current which is 10 ampere which is given into cos phi cos phi is 0 0.8660. So, we will get the answer of line voltage which is equals to 15.35 divided by root 3 multiply with 10 into 0 0.8660. So, that line voltage you will get as 1.03 watt volt. So, that is our answer number 1. That is the answer of this VL. Okay. Now, we know that for star connection, VL is equals to root 3 pH. So, VL is equals to root 3 VPH. We want the phase voltage. So, phase voltage is equals to V line current divided by root 3 line current is how much sorry line voltage is how much 1.03 divided by root 3 so vph is equals to this answer if you will calculate so around 0 0.59 0 0.59 volts so that is your answer number 2 okay now next what we will calculate next we will calculate impedance so for that purpose we know one equation for impedance that v pH is equals to I pH into Z. V is equals to I R. So, we will make subject as Z. Z is equals to phase voltage by line. Uh, phase voltage by phase current is equals to phase uh, voltage is how much? Phase voltage is 0 0.59 and phase current is how much? Phase current is line current which is given 10. So, Z is impedance is equals to 0 0.059 unit is ohm. So, that is another answer. Z is clear. Now, R with the help of this equation, we can find cos phi is equals to R by Z. So, we want the value of R. So, we will make subject as R cos phi into Z. Cos phi is how much? Cos phi power factor 0 0.8660 into impedance 0 0.059. So, value of R you will get around 0 0.051 ohm. So, that is another answer of resistance. Okay, so this is all about the numerical. Now, if you find any remaining topics in that unit number two AC circuits, you can comment in my comment box. So, till then, read hard, work hard. Thank you very much.